Okay, so here's the little test bed for the uh, gripper. You can kind of see that uh, by default it doesn't really do much. This is the metal plate. Uh, there's a little bit of magnetic field, but it doesn't really do much uh, in the neutral state. So neutral is dead center. If I increase it, you kind of hear charging. If I decrease it, it inverts it. So let's uh, go ahead and leave it neutral and test my 7.62 ammo can, which, uh, if you weigh it, comes in just around five pounds, uh, 2.4 kilos. So current custom battery, three volt, three S, so 12 volt pulling nothing right now. Go ahead and uh, turn on the grabber. So you can kind of see it's uh, magnetically attached. The zip ties aren't the best. And um, it uses capacitors to recharge the, the ferret coils when uh, there's lack of it. So it looks pretty secure. Now, wattage wise, we're barely drawing amps at all. It's being powered off a 5 volt 3 amp. And uh, we can turn it down to neutral, which means that it stops charging and stays magnet magnetized. So we can actually, if this was sensitive enough, show you how many exact milliamps it was drawing. So we can always just leave it charged, which is barely registering. And uh, if we want to release it, do my little chair to catch it, we just invert the signal, and it drops. So, and if we want to pick something up, we just kind of activate it and fly close to it. And uh, it basically can carry it. Back to neutral. And uh, you can try pulling power completely. So, no power whatsoever to the magnet. It stays magnetized. Now, of course, would we uh, re-plug it in and we want to make sure that uh, it's on active just so that it doesn't accidentally discharge but even with a neutral or zero current it still is magnetized of course something this heavy you may want to have it continuously charging anyway that's pretty cool cool little gripper um, especially if it's more stabilized, but if you want to release it, that's pretty neat.